Um, I've always had trouble making friends. Typically I try when I'm at the park downtown, but I've found the secret. You toss some pieces of bread on the ground and they come flying right over. <laughs> quack, quack. Just heard about some people downtown protesting oil drilling. I thought it was interesting that none of them carpool. <laughs> right? Not sure who else's dad does this, but my dad is a perfectionist, which means obviously I had a magical childhood. I learned a lot about responsibility and taking pride in my work. You know, fun stuff. He paid me to wash a car once and said for each mistake, he'd take away 50 cents. By the time I was done, I owed him six bucks. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's hard making a living. Um, sometimes you gotta sell cigarettes to the neighbor's kids so you can feed your own. <laughs> nice. Maybe we're selling together. Um, I try to be a loving, supportive parent. For example, I go to all my six-year-old baseball games to show support. I still haven't really figured out why he likes to play, though. He seems terrible at it. Raising kids who are in middle school, it's a lot of work. They all want nice clothes and expensive phones. At this rate, to afford their school supplies, I'm gonna have to sell my Corvette. No. Not the Corvette. Not the Corvette. <laughs> I was doing a grocery store run the other day, and in the parking lot, I saw the most curious creature. Not sure if y'all have seen them. It was a, and I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, a pedestrian. <laughs> The cutest thing about pedestrians is you can't run them over. It's usually frowned upon. I've heard there are times that you yourself can become a pedestrian, but I'm not sure though. I wasn't paying attention. I have trouble with distracted driving. I know it's bad. It's dangerous to even turn away for a second to change the music. At the same time, I wouldn't be caught dead listening to country. <laughs>